Have to have a buffer or a fence chain, you know, to keep the yeah. trash in place. But those trees need to plant, you cannot see. It's a liability. So, how many trees? Yeah. It's, I'm going to say probably 20 to 30. Ever, they're all evergreens. That's all. And they're grown in the fence row. So, mm -hmm. the fence row needs cleaned out. So, they could be cut and then that would be. Yeah. Or burnt. No, I don't think Burnham would do it. I think they need to either be pushed out or dug out with this. I bet you could take them. If that's all there is, you can dig them out off the fence. Yeah, it would take them a half day. Yeah, they see if they'll pick them up. Yeah. Yeah, because I got I need to talk to you about this other deal. I've been by while we're waiting on that. I've been by to bring him those down. Sandy Land, and I went to the SC or FSA office and talked to Bob Mercer about this. <clears throat> Those strips of grass in Sandy Land are nothing but plump thickets and trees. Yeah, and it's corner. not in, in this corner and then this one down here. They're not enrolled in any grass program or conservation program. When I said we have to take, clear those trees out and let the tenants farm that. I was going to talk to New Digger because they have this bottom side here in plots and stuff, but they would, you know, this one drops down into there. So I just think it, it would look better if it was all farmed in two strips and versus. You take that one out? No, 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 no. This okay. corner. The corner so to these corner. here, there's like clean up this yeah. edge of this shelter belt, the plump thickets in there, and there's some. Starting out here. Well, that's what I wanted. If we don't trim some of those up we, now, if we get into that shelter belt, though, uh, Bob did say we needed to have a permit to, or you know, to do that. But I'm sure if there's some stragglers in there, we can clean them up. But I just think it will look better, and and you know, we 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 went into the effort of cleaning these two short rows of trees out. It was just to me, it would make it where it looks, it looks a lot better. They can't farm the right? No, it's all CRP grass. Oh. Or lo what looks like CRP grass. But it's not in a program of any kind. We're not being compensated for it. Well, <coughs> are the fairs being compensated for it? No. Because in, in our lease agreement, it said they would be. They would receive 100% of all farm program there, There's no conservation okay. program in, uh, enrolled on that corner. Okay. I checked. Philip will be here after long. He's about 10 miles out. He'll come in. But, that's, I think it would sure look a lot better. You know. And total, it's about 18 acres between those two. And this is in grass here. Yeah. Why is it still in grass? I don't know. I, nobody, I mean, I, I think, Clay, what they had were plots back when they had the research stuff yeah. here. You know, and I think those are the last two. They were probably doing some type of CRP grass plots of some kind. 
doesn't seem like they ever extended clear down the two anymore. The, these plots. plots no, it looked like they were here around the yeah, farm. I don't think they, yeah, they didn't. But I don't know. I they think like, that is border ground right It probably, this one is probably yeah. sandy. Yeah. And that's true for that weather station mm -hmm. thing is too. Yeah. That's the first thing that will burn up for corners on the other yeah. side of the For us. But I just thought it, it would square it all up and make it mm -hmm. look better. This one really got, I mean, needs attention. Mm -hmm. This one's not as bad as that one, but if you're going to farm it, you might as well farm it. Both of them. About three years ago, we put a fence up down down the creek between and I mean, for years we just couldn't fix the fence with all the rush and all and some trees and stuff. Never went down there with this dozer. In two hours, I went down there to see how they was in. He was driving out. Yeah. I said, You're not done yet. Oh, yeah. We're going to take a look at it. I mean, he, he taken out the trees 100 foot light all the way through there. <laughs> he looked done. <laughs> I said, why didn't we do that all the time? Yeah, that's amazing. But, you know, the I people know. that some of these field, these pastures grow up, man, yeah. he's, I'll tell you what, he's pretty good on that. How yeah. many acres did you say? 18. 18. Between both patches. This one's six, I think, Clay, the bottom one's six, and the top one's 12 or something like that. To get them all pushed up in a nice deep, I don't might take half a day, but I bet you it would take you two hours to push them up. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, they've already got a pile from when we cleaned out some yeah. other trees here that need, we just need to push it all up, burn it, and be done with it. It's pretty fast. Yeah. Do you want to do those tax things? No tax corrections. Since then we'll wait after we do not that. Really. Wait on. Yeah, not really. <laughs> wait on the phone. I'd make a motion we approve the tax roll corrections. Second. And then the second we accept the tax law corrections. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Uh, Carol, we're in recess. <laughs> Do I at least get a last meal or anything? Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fried bologna. Fried bologna. Corn on the cob. Frozen. Spam. Ooh. Jimmy Green. Jimmy Green's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 At the landfill, can you look at the cedar trees that's grown up close to the railroad tracks on the intersection there where the road meets the railroad tracks? Sure. And see about taking them out okay. along that north fence on the west side. Okay. I didn't know if there was a requirement for a buffer in there, if that's why we let them get as big as they are or what, but we need that. No, I don't think so. I mean, because you need clear, clear you know, where that train is not controlled crossing. Right. And needs good visibility. Yeah, and it's not good at all. It's not a road I can <laughs> Right. Recall, well, me so. either, and that's, it's been brought to our attention. Okay. So. Yeah, sure. And then, uh, can we look at clearing these this brush and stuff out of the CRP or the, what looks like CRP grass in okay. two spots because we're we'll probably going to let them find that grass. Oh, okay. Yeah, where the tree pile is. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's much down on this one, but we talked about maybe looking at cleaning some of this back, possibly. You would have, we'd have to, I need to talk with Bob Mercer again about how far back we can get into that shoulder belt, but I can do that today. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not But I'd like to get that brush cleaned out of this so we can let those guys farm that. Okay, yeah, that pile that's out there ought to burn. Burn pretty good. Yeah, it is. And there's good. only a few other trees, and I was going to see if you can, we'll clean up against that shoulder belt where that's starting to come out a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that should be. Nice. Yeah. We've got a few trees to get out of West Cooper. Yeah, yeah, that won't, it won't. I just think it's time to get that all cleaned up and just farm the whole thing. Yeah. And it's not in a program of any kind, so is that the right way to No. It has to be at an angle to get to any length to it. It has to go through the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs>
needs taken out, that needs to be leveled and cleaned up. Yeah, well, it, yeah. Because it looks pretty rough through there. I mean, it probably is. I yeah. Mean, because of that, well, before that pit was put there, I mean, that was real rolling. Yeah. Real small hills. But most of the fence is all broke. I just see it all needs cleaned up and the fence needs redone. If we have to have a fence, it needs to be redone. Probably take an engineering study. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope not. Probably Terracon has to get involved. Yeah. There's 50 permits from the state. Do core drilling. Just bury it. Looks like the chipper's done a good job. Yeah. We'll go over here and do a five-year truck and pull it in there so you just pull it in the ditch. And uh, loose grass and stuff in the ditch and smother it in the house. So. Yeah. Uh, Are you piling us somewhere? Just take it up to the city dumps. Uh, I mean, when we get back over here, we'll probably just take it out pile it and some of it, let people be. Well, some of it. just go down here. Like, like, Most of the songs you've been doing yeah. this job should be done. It's, you sure have to have your protection. Yeah, it's, it's loud. Right? Yeah, it is really loud. <laughs> well, at least we don't have to worry about running around with a pressure. Yeah. It's probably a good thing. Yeah. Because you always have these scraggly brush piles and then grass. You, you yeah, have to for a while. Yeah, you have to leave them for a while so they make sure they dry out and burn up. Then by the time that, if you didn't have them wrote down, you forget and, and for, then you forget where you wrote them down at. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got one or two left out there. That's about it. So that's really not a great model to do yeah. away with those. So I think it's probably a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. so. so how large a lamb is in diameter? Can it, what, it will take a 10-inch. Oh, wow. Ten really? Inch. <laughs> I think yeah. four or five. Yeah. You know, the, 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 that throat opens up pretty good. Wow. That would make a little more. Yeah. And you just make sure that we 
make sure one guy's right with the machine all the time. I had three with him. I think there's four with him today. A lot of somebody has to you know, be right to the machine. But it's got lots of safety stuff on it. So. Yep, don't get your hand caught. Yeah, well, you're not even supposed to put your hand anywhere inside this. Uh, it's no. probably got a three foot or throw, four foot throat throw on it. Mm -hmm. And you're not supposed to put your hand anywhere inside that throat. Be like Fargo revisited. What, what, what's weird is it'll go in there and then if it starts picking, slowing down, it'll just stop. The machine will stop feeding the limb in there. And it'll catch up and all of a sudden that, it'll just start sucking it back in there. And, Kind of need to watch, but yeah. you sure don't want to be around it very long. Mm -hmm. If you like your hearing. Yeah. <laughs> very good. All right. Let's we'll see what we can get this done on this stuff. Thank you. All right. See you guys. See you. <coughs> no recess. Shane, anything? Nope. Hurt? No. Okay, we'll adjourn.